Microsoft Access kind of works the same way. You can see over here that this is the Timberline table that I've opened. I've actually, this is dynamically linked uh, to Timberline. So this is live data. Well, an interesting thing is when I was getting ready for this seminar, I was going to show how in project management, you know, we have these uh, inquiries and they're sorted by senior project manager. But none of the jobs had, you know, this is, these are defined by a field in the job that we have specified who the project manager is. Well, in the sample data, you know, these project managers didn't exist. So rather than going into each job, you know, go to job call, set up job, type in the job number, go to the field, type in the name, hit save, I literally came in here and I said, Steve Straub is on this job and this job and this job. So as fast as that was, I just updated those three jobs. Now if you go and look at, well, let's see, Chris Campbell had three or four jobs before and now he has one. So now if we go back to Chris Campbell's inquiry and look at it, he only has one job. So it's literally that fast. And one of the great things about this is when I got here four and a half years ago, there were large sections of Timberline that we had not implemented. And there were a lot of changes that we made as far as how we sort our data. For instance, we didn't have a sort that specified the senior project manager. We didn't have a sort that specified the superintendent. We wanted to start looking at how we were, uh, how much revenue was coming from different market sectors that we were working in, but we didn't have a feel for that and the data wasn't in the jobs. Well, if you can imagine going through two years of jobs and putting if the market sector was healthcare or religion or educational, et cetera, going in each job and typing that in and clicking save, I mean, it could take forever. But literally, we did it in about two hours. We went back and categorized three years of projects in new ways because we wanted to be able to sort that data. And this is where we did it. Now, not every field in Timberline can be written to. You can't just change anything. And if you're, you know, if you have questions about that, I know that if you're not familiar with what can and can't be written, you know, Steve and any of the consultants over at FCA have that information. And, you know, how I first discovered this was a light bulb moment, and I don't remember who showed it to me, maybe it was Jackie or somebody else that was out and said, well, you know, did you know you could update that stuff using Microsoft Access? And, you know, I love when somebody puts that light bulb in my head and I start thinking of all the ways that that applies to my company, and uh, it, it really helped and saved us time. So when my boss came and said, you know, I want to be able to analyze this by market sector, and I knew that we hadn't been entering that information in our job setups, I... Uh, or maybe we were entering it, but it wasn't consistent. The data wasn't, you know, strong and garbage in, garbage out. I knew that I could come in here and use Microsoft Access and just update a bunch of stuff. Like, look at all these jobs that don't have states. Well, this job is in Virginia. This job is in Virginia. This job is in Maryland. This job is in Maryland. Literally, I just updated those jobs. So, if you have something in Timberline that hasn't been entered consistently, or you know you have some holes in your data that you want to fill in and really start fleshing it out, this is a place you can do it. Now, when we talk about the contract status log, when we're looking at what the people, I think I closed it. We're talking about the contract status log that we were looking at. There was a lot of information for that that we were not entering in Timberline. We weren't entering the contract signed date. We weren't entering the exhibit E date. I'm not even sure we were entering the insurance expiration dates. I think it was a manual spreadsheet process. So when we looked at actually trying to go forward and do some of that stuff, we knew the data wasn't in there. This is how we got it in. We were able to go in and mass update vendor insurance and mass update contract sign dates and some other stuff rather than going screen by screen through Timberline. And again, Timberline is a great process, but when you're looking at dynamically changing mass quantities of data, this is where you can do it. You can even use queries. Uh, Microsoft Access has some other abilities I won't get into because this really isn't a Microsoft Access seminar. But you can use queries and specify through the query of Microsoft Access, you know, if the city is this, make the state this. And click update and it'll, it'll scroll through your data for you and dynamically update, you know, hundreds or even thousands of records at a time. So this is a tool that is just massively undervalued. If, if you're not using this now to update some of your data, I strongly encourage you to look into it 
And I hope that there's some aha moments going on as far as people knowing that, you know, there's a section of Timberline or something they haven't implemented yet that they really want to. This is just a great way to do it. So that's kind of my spiel on uh, access. 